Hey guys, it's Volt and welcome back to another video. So there are thousands of Nerf hang games out there on Scratch, with many of them being mediocre. But today I'm gonna show you 5 more hidden gems in the FNAF community made with Scratch. So let's get the show on the road. So this game is above mediocre. The artwork is the strongest point. The Antronics looks well made and the rooms have some detail in them. I also like that you can wander around a little in the restaurant. I love when FNAF games do that, since it makes you able to see the restaurant from the protagonist's own perspective instead of just from security cameras. But is the gameplay a strong point? Not really. First off, the defense against one of the animatronics is simply turning on a light, and on the second animatronic you just need to click on it. Not only is there only two animatronics, but there is no strategizing in this game whatsoever. There is no power meter, nothing. I mean, if you're gonna make only two animatronics, at least give them multiple ways to get to the night guard and the mechanics. Or just add more animatronics. But again, it's the artwork that made this game to the fifth place. But with most of the FNAF fangs on Scratch being mediocre, this game is an exception to that. Since, well, there's no bugs and the artwork is remarkable. So uh, this game has two extra animatronics from the previous entry. Two of them have the same mechanic, but the rest of them have different ways of killing you. Two animatronics gets fooled by a mask, one of them crawls through a vent, which you would need to shut, and one has the same music box mechanic. I also like the fact that during the night, a worker in the factory gets murdered during the shift. It is a fun and creative idea, but unfortunately, the developer didn't do much with it. I love that the developer paid a lot of attention to the gameplay, such as not letting you put on your mask and close an event at the same time to make the player overpowered. I kinda like the design, but I feel like in some camera rooms there's some sharp edges that should be polished. I love the animation when the mask animatronics are just standing there in the doorway. It gives a really ominous feeling. But why is this game on the fourth place? Well, well the gameplay is not really strong. The animatronics AI is very repetitive and I wish that the game could get harder. Even in extreme mode I think it was pretty easy. Also more lightning effects wouldn't hurt in terms of design. There's a little more strategizing in this game compared to the previous entry, but not that much. But with all cons aside I think the game is otherwise solid. Are you getting flashbacks? Well, in the first video where I talked about the 5 of the best fan games on Scratch, Starkey was on the 5th place. Stella is made by the same creator who made Starkey. It solved the issue where all the animatronics except one fell for the same defense. In this game, most of the animatronics go for the door, yes, but some of them goes both for the door and the vent. That kind of AI is a perfect way to vary on the animatronics behavior and makes the player more vigilant to check on both entrances to the office. It's also good that the developer programmed the game in such a way that made you unable to check the cameras when closing the door, so that makes up for the lack of a power meter. The fact that you also need to use audio cues is good because it requires you to be more alert and that makes the game more action packed. I also like that small detail that you can hide the camera map. I thought it was a negative that the number of animatronics decreased, and having more animatronics with different behaviors would have definitely kept the player thinking fast on their feet. Also, I don't get why the camera system got changed with arrows instead of just clicking on the camera buttons. It makes the gameplay pretty tedious. So overall, Stella deserves to be on the third place. <laughs> The design in this game is beyond perfect. Nice lighting effects, good amounts of detail into the rooms, and good looking animatronics. Douglas's Nightmare Diner is not only visually appealing, the gameplay is also pretty good. You need to keep track on the animatronics who goes before the door. Any second, they can run into the office and you need to shock immediately. Something I also like is that the power restarts every time it runs out, but it takes a bit. It doesn't go on to the lazy way of killing you immediately when you run out of power. This game believes in second chances, and I respect it for that. More defenses would have definitely been an improvement. And just like the other previous games in this video, if you want a game with way higher quality, this game is for you. So 
so this is a remake of the original game from 2019. The remake is honestly much better. And before you shoot me dead, the 2022 version is, like I said before, a massive improvement from the 2019 version. More shading effects and detail into the rooms, even reflection effects on other objects, and more strategizing in the game. You need to turn on the flashlight to see the camera rooms, which rains, and you need to use it sparingly. Looking into different directions also improve a little on the gameplay. It makes you more alert since you need to care about your surroundings. Two animatronics gets fooled by turning off the lights, yes, but for one of them you need to turn it off when they're at the door, and for the other one you need to turn it off when they're in the camera in the room next to you. It's a fairly good way to vary a little with two animatronics who fall for the same defense. Also, you need to listen for footsteps when they leave, requiring you to listen carefully. All the other animatronics has their own way of killing you and fall for different defenses. And the AI isn't a lot like the other FNAF fan games, where the game becomes next to impossible in the later nights. The AI doesn't get too strict and that makes for a fun game experience instead of it becoming frustrating. It's pretty bug free and a masterpiece. And this is definitely a fan game worth tuning into. Well, that was another good ranking. The second part of counting 5 more hidden gems on Scratch. So yeah guys, that's the end of the video. Feel free to subscribe if you like my content, and I'll see you on the next one. Adios.